Greetings and welcome to our daily walk through the scripture for June the 22nd. Your readings today find you in 2 Kings chapter 4, finishing it out, uh, verse 18 on, and then reading 2 Kings chapter 5. You also read Acts chapter 15, verses 1 through 35, Psalm 14, uh, excuse me, Psalm 141, verses 1 through 10, and Proverbs chapter 17, verse 23. Now, yesterday I kind of gave you a little bit of a preview of how Elisha uh, parallels Jesus in a lot of ways. And we're going to continue to see some of those miracles happen. But before we do that, here's another little parallel. You think it's accidental? It's not. Do you know what Elisha means? It means God saves. Funnily enough, do you know what Jesus means? Well, it means God saves. Uh, they're both variants of the name Joshua. Uh, and, and so as a result of that, Elisha and Jesus share this commonality here. And Elisha points the way to Jesus. And his miracles continue to do that. He is, in many ways, uh, that 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 messianic figure that points to Jesus. Okay, Elisha will be the first to tell you, and nobody claims that Elisha is a, a Messiah, but he does definitely point towards Jesus. The first thing we see is that he he sees a young man, or the young man, the woman that he promised, okay, that was going to get a pregnant. Sure enough, she did, and what happened? Well, the boy died. And so the woman went and got Elisha, and he came, and he brought this little boy back to life. Where have we seen this? Well, we see Jesus do this a couple of different times. We see Jesus do this with the little girl who was sick. We see Jesus do this with the servant um, uh, who was also sick. Uh, and the, the little girl that died, Jesus brought back. We also see this with Peter's mother, that Jesus brings her back. So Jesus does what Elisha did, but he does it three times over. He does it significantly more, showing how he is greater than Elisha. Okay, and then the next thing he does is we talk about the food and the poison aspect of it. Well, Jesus, again, Jesus' miracles with food are well documented, and we and we see that. And so, uh, you know, Jesus doesn't necessarily, but what Jesus does do, however, some of the times is he uses... Um, he uses the earth and he uses the, the things of the natural world to uh, to heal and do things. For example, there was a time when Jesus used his spit to heal blindness, uh, mixing it in mud. There are all sorts of times that Jesus does those things. And we see Elisha do some of those things as well. Now, first, Elisha feeds a multitude of people, which is good. Uh, but but he then we get the story of Naaman being healed of leprosy. And, and this is a... Um, a pretty amazing story for a number of reasons. One, uh, because Naaman was not an Israelite. Okay, matter of fact, uh, the the Aramites where Naaman was from would have been enemies. This is not somebody that would have been a friend. Um, but instead, he humbles himself to go see Elisha. And the other thing about it is, is that um, Naaman first doesn't really understand his instructions because what Elisha tells him to do is something that's very basic. It says, go wash in a river. Well, Naaman's like, we've got tons of rivers in our land. What makes this river special? And and his servant, his servant manages to convince him to try it anyway. Okay? Uh, you know, his, his servant's actually very wise. He says, if, is if, if the prophet had told you to do something great, wouldn't you have done it? All he's telling you to do is go take a bath. Just go. Do it. So Naaman does. And Naaman's life is changed from that point on. And Naaman becomes a um, an evangelist for God. He flat out becomes an evangelist for God. And he takes it very seriously, including to the point of taking jars of land with him so that he can uh, remember his presence, his 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 savior remember the that what god has done for them his rescue so this is really a beautiful thing but then we see uh also um uh, Nate, uh elisha's servant try to take advantage of this um and as a result of that uh his servant gets what naaman had really kind of a fascinating story but we see a lot of hints of what Jesus is going to do. Jesus telling people to go wash, to go to do this, to do that. And and it happens. Jesus is, well, as his name says, God saves. Uh, but anyway, as you're looking at the stories of Elisha, see what other uh, Christ parallels that you can find. See what other things you can find out that point towards Jesus, the ultimate saver. All right, that's it. We'll talk more next time.